Ida Lewis, 5 Fast Facts You Need to Know On February 25, Google has decided to honor the person who was once referred to as the bravest woman in America. The Doodle Shows Rhode Island Lighthouse Keeper Ida Lewis and her incredible rescue of two soldiers whose boat had capsized. The pair were close to Lewis's lighthouse in Newport Harbor, about 30 miles south of Providence. The title of the bravest woman in America was bestowed upon her by the Society of the American Cross of Honor. For her efforts, Lewis was awarded the Gold Life Saving Medal by President Ulysses S. Grant. The blog on the doodle pays tribute to Lewis's unwavering courage, sheer physical strength, constant diligence, and a willingness to put one's own life on the line. The doodle appears on what would have been Lewis's 175th birthday. 1. Lewis began saving lives at 12 and didn't stop until she was 63. Lewis born Ida Wiesel Lewis in 1842. Throughout her rescuing career as a lighthouse keeper, Lewis is credited with saving somewhere between 13 and 25 people. Those included servicemen who stationed at the nearby Fort Adams in Newport, Rhode Island. Her family had taken control of the Lime Rock Lighthouse in 1853. Her father, Captain Josea Lewis, suffered a paralytic stroke just six months into the tenure. As a result, Lewis's mother, Zorada, took over the running of the lighthouse. By 1879, Lewis was appointed as the keeper of the lighthouse after being trained under her mother. Though, it was in 1854 when Lewis would perform her first rescue, helping four men whose boat had capsized. Lewis's last rescue took place when she was 63. She died six years later in October 1911 at the Lime Rock Light Station. It would be named after her in 1924 and in 1928 the nearby Yacht Club also took on Lewis's name. An online bio says Lewis suffered a stroke while carrying wood to the lighthouse. She was discovered by her brother, Rudolph. Around 1,400 people attended her funeral. She is buried in the common burying ground in Newport, Rhode Island. One of Lewis's more bizarre rescues came in 1877 when she saved the life of a sheep. During a storm, the animal panicked and wandered into the sea. Three men attempted to rescue the sheep but they also got into trouble. Lewis saved all three. Famously, Lewis didn't keep records of her rescues. She said of her job, The light is my child, and I know when it needs me, even if I sleep. 2. During Lewis's famous rescue of two soldiers, a 14-year-old boy died. Our most famous rescue, as per the Google Doodle, in 1869 saw her save the lives of Sergeant Adams and Private McLaughlin from Fort Adams. A local account describes the rescue saying, Lewis, she needed all her months and years of exercise and rowing experience then. The waves broke over her bow threatening to swamp her again and again, but she finally reached the light with the two half-drowned men. For this rescue work, Lewis was referred to as the Grey Starling of America. Darling was an English lighthouse keeper's daughter who saved lives following a shipwreck in Fort Fryshire in 1838. It was reported that when the two struggling men saw that it was Lewis coming to their rescue, one said, it's only a girl. A 2015 feature on Lewis by the Providence Journal reports that the two soldiers were drunk. According to the New England Historical Society, a 14-year-old boy had been guiding Adams and McLaughlin. The boy couldn't be rescued and disappeared after falling into the water. 3. Lewis could row a boat faster than any man in Newport. The National Archive says that Lewis was an expert or his woman and had developed exceptional boat maneuvering skills from making countless trips back and forth between the island and the mainland to transport supplies and her four siblings. At the height of her celebrity, Lewis donned the cover of Harper's Weekly and was awarded medals by the Life-Saving Benevolent Association of New York and President Ulysses S. Grant not to mention the American Cross of Honor. 
An online bio says that Lewis Lighthouse became something of tourist attraction. The more famous visitors included President Grant, Susan B. Anthony and Vice President Schuyler Colfax, Jr. The Providence Journal quoted President Grant as saying when he got to the lighthouse, I have come to see Ida Lewis, and to see her I'd get wet up to my armpits if necessary. To this day, a poem about Lewis's work appears on the U.S. Coast Guard's website. A documentary film producer, Marion Gagnon, paid tribute to Lewis saying, she wrote probably better than any man in Newport at the time. The 2015 Providence Journal piece compares the stories of Lewis's heroism spreading to going viral. 4. Lewis married briefly in 1870. The National Archive says that in 1870, Lewis married Captain William Wilson of Black Rock, Connecticut. The couple's relationship lasted two years before they separated. Despite the separation, Lewis used Wilson as her middle name. During the marriage, Lewis left her post and went to live back on the mainland. 5. In 2014, PBS produced a documentary about Lewis titled America's Forgotten Heroine. In September 2014, a documentary film about Lewis's life titled, America's Forgotten Heroine, aired on PBS. Marion Gagnon, a producer on the film, told Independent Rhode Island. I'm not sure why she's forgotten, but I really wanted to resuscitate her story and return her to her rightful place in history. She was this little slip of the woman, but she was fearless. She was being heralded as the bravest woman in America, but she was also being criticized because it wasn't womanly to row a boat or to try and save lives, but it didn't stop her. Gagnon added that she had been thought to swim and row by her father. Lewis was also celebrated in the 2002 book The Keeper of Lime Rock, The Remarkable True Story of Ida Louis.